Alright, yep. Uh, Audio Blender Boys podcast. Let's go. Uh, I'm here with Brandon, Chris, and Tot, who may or may not include his audio. Hello, everybody. How's everybody doing? I'm doing fine. Uh, What's up? Good. I'm glad everybody's going doing good. Let's get into the nitty gritty. What are we chatting about today? Nitty gritty. I want to see a titty. Nah, um, you want to see a titty. Well, let's 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 go ahead and let's uh, talk about the witch in the room. How's everybody like in Reason Hero season two so far? Since something. I mean, Reason Hero is lit. It's always lit. Oh yeah, I'm really enjoying Reason Hero season two. No. After hearing that, what earlier now, I'm kind of wishing about I wouldn't have binge watched it and why not. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just for those of you not in the know, uh, our dear friend Jimmy has alerted us that we're not getting any more seasons of uh, Free Zero due to stuff that's going on in the real world. And, uh, fucking fire. Yeah. We're not going to get into the nitty gritty. All we know is that. You know, due to complications, no more ReZero for another four months. It's like a mid-season break. Which, I mean, I understand if it's going to be the quality that it has been. I'm willing to wait it. I don't want to, but I'm willing to. Um, so, yeah, that's... It's going to be a good Christmas it's, gift, I guess. I guess. But, hey, hit me with that wet dick ReZero. Um, let's, we're going to go ahead and talk spoilers, so um, if you don't want to, just skip ahead a little bit. I mean, you're a big girl, you can handle it. Um, what do you think that last episode where a kid and I started girl like, and spouting her love for, started spouting her love for, uh, I see what I'm I mean, about a pack let's be real, she doesn't really love no, she Sabre. She's just, she's just she's interested in his return by death ability. Yeah, he was. Go shoot, uh, Bill. Are you sure you're ready to do (laughs) that? What? It's, uh. I'll be my voice. Yeah. So, uh, (laughs) yeah. She's just wanting the easiest return by death ability. Oh, yeah. uh, I used to be. I used to be with the cult of Echidna. You know, I was an Echidna fan before uh, I like, I like she the, got animated. I like the Witch of Yumi. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I like it's Stella. Yeah, it's, the it's, Stella. Yeah, it's, it's pretty, like, her... She ain't, like, just now, I ain't got to watch the newest episode where she makes her actual appearance. You see her, they're like, her taking over a million and everything else. She got crazy. And I'm all about a stalker speech that loves me. <laughs> uh, you know, I was going to comment, but I'm not going to comment. But yeah, that moment, yeah. moment when Jimmy starts stalking me and wearing a wig, I get phone calls like in the night. <sighs> right, so. You forgot to wash your hands. That would be awkward. Yeah, uh, I, w- I was part of the occult of Kidna, then uh, she got animated, and now everybody's just kind of ruining Kidna for me. Um, what were we talking about? It's all about the witchy envy and the witcher right for me. We're talking about the uh, me and Brandon are now on the uh, subject of waifus. Well, it's his, it is waifu Wednesdays. Yeah, I was saying how I was all about a kid, and then she got animated. Yeah. Now everybody's just kind of ruined her for me. She's back oh, yeah. now. I'm all about that witch greed now, boys. Not witch greed, uh, which of um, which one's Satella? I'm all about Satella. Satella seems she like the best girl so far. Hey, copy, motherfucker. I stab you. But, uh, she. I mean, she's she's dropping subtle clues about stuff here and there, and it's just it's making me wonder like, what the fuck's going on. Like she says, "You gave everything to me. I love you." All this shit. And she she has the return by death ability. She gave it to him, so obviously she has ulterior motives somehow. But I just don't know what they are. She acts like she loves him. She acts like she actually cares about him. But I just I don't understand what's going on with really her yet. You can't trust the fucking witch. 
No, you can't, can't trust, trust them because they're, they're in the I mean... I mean... You can there. trust the tail though. I'll tell you that much right now. Jim, stop. You're super far ahead with the... <laughs> spoilers. Jim, you like the jackass who <laughs> read all the mock novels. And now he's like, I'm sad, boys. Like three days ago, and he said, boys, I'm sad. I ruined all the reason here for myself. There's no reason to go on. Oh, like, no. Yeah. Hot wings. Uh, like... You, you best just make sure you don't piss him off. He's done saying that. Anybody pisses him off right now on, though. people is getting spoilers. Don't matter who when, they are. When was the last time I genuinely pissed you off, though? Two days ago. Really? I'm probably, probably yesterday. I didn't even talk to you yesterday. <laughs> I was talking I'm to pretty you sure. three days. Yeah, that, that, that's what it was, man. He was pissed you ain't hollered at him. A man goes and plays Seas of Thieves with his friends and he's all of a sudden, well, friend. <sighs> oh, that, that was a shit show earlier. That was a shit show earlier if I'd seen one in my life. It yeah, all fucking missed it. it. Oh my god. We got Swiss cheese. We got the last time. Oh, uh, last time uh, in Dragon Ball Z? The last time I ever <laughs> let fucking Zach, like fucking... Talk to people and deal with us joining in alliance and everything else. Oh, These people garbage. messaged a friend of mine who was playing they were with us. Fucking kids, man. Yeah, and was like, you better uh, party up with us or else we're gonna get yeah. mad. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> then it's like, Zach was like, well, we can either get on their good side and party up with them, or or we can risk it. And like, I if mean, I'd I... known they were children and if I'd known they sucked that hard, I'd have been like. Alright, come on, risk it for the best. They can come get them. Yeah, I don't. I don't like playing CTs with people anymore. Oh my god, it, it went all through me, bro. Like, it got bad. We had two skeleton sloops just Swiss cheesing us already. A, we had a big a giant shark. And then we had this like, other Reaper, like, galleon who came out of nowhere. A galleon. And, and we were just trying to deal no with like the, we were trying to deal with like the skeletons and stuff. What does Zach do? First thing, instead of like trying to deal with the other stuff, he goes over and shooting the Reaper guy. And he's like starting to piss it off right in the middle of us in the hornet's nest. Copley's ever trying to take care of the threat. We're already engaged in, but nope, Zach goes on the other side and is like, haha, fuck you. It's like, man, chill. <laughs> and there's just one thing after another. We lost so hard, it was so bad. Um, also, I don't know if everybody knows we, or not. None of that would have even happened if we just would have blew up the ship. Like I said. Yeah, we shouldn't have partied Pirate up the legends, kids. and uh, they've been playing all day, they've been taking out people, all this. And then they get on there on our boat and look at our ship, and literally saying that we're flexing on them because me and Chris are pirate legends. I'm like, are you fucking serious? They're definitely not letting him be a bastard anymore, up. though. Like, like it, was, it was a good time, but we're not letting him be a bastard anymore. Because we ended up being bodyguards for children. And we got it's so bad. I mean, I, I didn't get mad about it, though. We lost nothing. We had water losses and stuff that we had on us. Like supplies, it's whatever. Bottom we sold all our uh, treasure. Next time I'm gonna fucking go boom barrel on somebody I'm playing on. Yeah, I don't trust anybody. I don't do alliances. Like, unless I know them, know them, I don't do alliances. Mm. Next time I'll be like, alright, if they want yes. something, come get something. They know where old dad lives. Fun, wacky dude. And yeah, it's pretty much how we spend our morning. Um. Let's see what else. Oh yeah, JoJo announced an event for the fourth month of the next year. So, you know, the fourth month of 2021, boys, JoJo event, which they should be announcing part six and some kind of like crossover brand, you know, like they did with part five. For part five, you could buy a pair of Ju uh, let's see, what was Gucci Bucciarati slips. They're like so many thousands of dollars, and you can buy like some fancy ass Bucciarati shoes. What's that? 
Yeah, I know. It's like real expensive just for some shoes that are Bootsrati themed. Which, I mean, I like I like probably a Dirty Boy as much as anybody Listen, else. Listen. Fuck me. I'll go get a pair of what, like loafers and just throw a fucking zipper on it. Throw a zipper on it, poke a dunk of shit at them with a sharpie, there you yeah. go. Juice. <laughs> exactly. Hey, you go to some of them cons and stuff before. Do people that make their own stuff looks better in the shit that the pros make. Oh, dude, I know that, that a lot of the people, they, they make that shit by hand and they try to make it look good because that's their bread and butter, but whenever uh, I ordered those JoJo hats off of, like, I think it was Rich or Amazon, I forget which, but uh, whenever they finally arrived, they were so sh- shitty, the quality. I love it. They were just bad. I know you love it because you got the good one. I got, I got the one that's just like a floppy hey, ass hat. You said you wanted part... Four or five or four. Oh, yeah, 100%. And I, I was did, like, sure, uh, I'll take three. It's my favorite. I wish you would have given you that the, one. Uh, no, nah, uh, it wouldn't fit my head anyway, honestly. I tried it and it didn't fit my head. I was like, this one's for Copley. has a smaller head than my fucking ginormous egg. But, uh, yeah, I wish you would have kept the badges for it. That way it would have been a full blown JoJo hat instead of just a schoolboy hat. I think I still got it. Look her up. We gotta get decent JoJo hats eventually. There's one that I saw that I want to get. It's a JoJo hat that uh, the back of it literally goes into his hair like spikes. Yeah, and it looks so cool. Did you, did you see what the uh, actor who played JoJo in the Part Four live action did? He shaved his fucking head down the middle so that his hat would fit right. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. People in Japan are built different. Bro. <laughs> That's like the other night. Kind of quirky though. I was sitting there uh, taking my lady to work, and my two kids in the back. All I hear from one is going, "Ora, ora, 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 ora," and I hear my other one, my oldest, he's like, "Muda, muda, muda." I'm like, "Oh, so proud." My dog came into the kitchen the other day. It was just me and him home, and I looked at him. He was like, "Oh, you're approaching me." And he just looked at me like, what the fuck did you just say? <laughs> what are you talking yeah, about? He, he wants a fucking pork <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's all it was. He's like, oh, are you approaching me? Pork chop. Oh, he's good dog. Pause. He's Chris's a- dog, staying <laughs> pork chop. He's a good dog. Well, you can do better than Iggy did. <laughs> Iggy! I'm just What's your JoJo? You know, yeah, I think, I think we're this. just going to have a spoiler filled podcast. So we just might as well go and accept that. We're bad for spoilers on the show. I don't know if because. So what you're of, saying is you want me to tell you how ReZero ends got you. Hey, Jim, you shut your horn mouth. Please. You wait for me to leave and then run this thing say. Please, Jim, enlighten me. Oh, damn, Tot. All right, oh, Tot, listen. Everybody dies. That was a given of the preview. Literally. Yeah, like, so everybody dies a show. It's like, what What if PTSD? That's just a show. He, then he comes back and he pulls a Jesus. Oh, dude, last episode, whenever he had to look and see what happened every time he killed himself in those other universes. And it's just so fucking sad, dude. It really was. Well, the- Trials are going to get harder and harder. Run. I mean, yeah, but he don't know if that's what really happened, and neither do we. We don't know if he just left behind a string of universes where he failed. I don't I mean, know everything. I can see it. Joe just like, you keep saying that. Like, you're like that guy who's just sitting yeah. there, and he's smarter than everybody else. And like, I'm just going to say screwed, and then, no, I kind of want to know. Enlighten us, Jim. Yeah, I never consented to this. <laughs> All right, Jim. Tell us that 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 only thing, okay? I was Did joking. Levi... Don't you say a fucking horn word? Okay, I fucking kind of want to know now. You're not allowed to know. That's your bird in the bear, just like a sear ribbon. Okay, this, this fucking oh, sear ribbon. Shit. Every time, every time you disagree with me about something, you just have that trump card of just, oh, that's your fucking bird in the bear. I swear to God, one of these days I'm going to get, like, asshole cancer or something. I'd be like, man, I need to go to the doctor for this knocker. It's such a burden to bear. That's your serum. 
Do you go in there and get checked? The doctor just look at you. He's like, "Have you ever got a seer even on uh, Warframe?" <laughs> no. He's like, "That's your burden to bear." Takes off his fake mustache, Colonel Sanders style. That's Copley. It's like you were rooting around in my butt for three minutes. Why didn't you take off the disguise on you? <laughs> he literally takes. Off the coffee face, and it's Jimmy. He looks at you, he's like, I jokes on him. He takes off the mask of scary music, he doesn't even know why he's there. I can see that happening. Me too. Just shoot snakes out of his penis. You're terrified because you're terrified. Snakes anyway, oh, shoot, but shoot, you're shoot, happy shoot, it's scary music. So, um. SAO dropped their new abridged uh, here recently. And I gotta say, it's fucking tight. It was worth the wait. The two abridges that I'm waiting on to update are Project Mouthwash's uh, Fate uh, and Lumber Blade Works, which is pretty good. And um, the Woody Entertainment's SAO, which are both entirely worth watching. I mean, the whole reason to watch the. Uh, the fake one would have to be, uh, those are calling her Baber. That shit's funny. If it's extra yeah. amazing. Fight is, fight is an amazing show, and I love it. Ow. Motherfucker! I already watched seen? the first season, and, because I stopped the meter way through. I can't remember what episode I left off on. Have you guys seen the abridged, though? The one by Project Mouthwash? That just sounds like a fake name. No, that's literally their name. It's Project Mouthwash. I'm not even fucking you right now. No, I'm not even giving you the serum. And... But, uh, real shit, it's, it's, it's good. Thought check Facebook. Thought check Facebook. Other than that, I've not really been watching anything. I, I started the dub of um, uh, Science Fell in Love, so I tried to prove it today because I saw Cliff and me die laughing. And uh, it, looks, it looks pretty good. It's about these two scientists who uh, fall in love with each other and they try to mathematically prove love. And um, it's, they're, they're very awkward about the whole thing. Oh. Uh. I watched yeah, the last two episodes. Good. One piece. Not anymore. Also, I uh, watched here recently uh, Not the Girls uh, Nozaki Kun, which is about a mangaka Arthur, who, uh, not Arthur, author, who uh, writes Shonen, Shoujo, Shoujo, sorry, my brain ain't working, boys, just like in one of these days, I'm going to completely break down, you have to old yell at me. No, he's my podcast host. I'll put him down, Paul. But, uh, Russia. If you want to get so yell or you, it's me. It, it's good. He uh, is a shoujo artist and he knows to know the first thing about love. And the girl he gets to be his assistant uh, is in love with him, but he has no fucking clue. Everything that he does with her, uh, he thinks it's just them hanging out and she's trying to get closer to him, and it's, just, it's really funny. Really funny. That's a good show, too. Yeah, so, I, I'm sad to see there's going to be season two. There needs to be, though. Also, I started Copley in Golden Time. Good time. Pretty funny. Golden Time's a good show. He's seen two episodes so far. He doesn't know how much it's going to be the greatest fucking romance he's ever seen. Well, it's a, nothing can ever be... Uh, fuck, what is a wolf girl in the Black Prince? Until this fucker throw, picks a stick up and chucks it and tells that bitch to go fetch, it won't be the best thing. What <laughs> romance anime in my eyes? My Little Monster was also a pretty good romance anime. Oh, it's so good. He beats the living hell out of her. Also, <laughs> um, I, I need to rewatch the Pet Girl of Soccer as hell. I started that with that bit. That's it's, it's pretty good as well. They finally got a dub of it released after fucking all those years. I don't know why they're releasing it now after like, what, five, six odd years later? But fuck it, I mean, I'll take it. I'll take a pet girl dub. I mean, 
Fucking A, you know. What, what is it? Io Girl? That's that's the best. Io Girl, yeah. That's yeah, the that's the best romance. Right. He's too like a bitch. I don't think that's a romance between him and her. Yes, it does more she wants him and he suplexes her. <laughs> Just straight up cuts all the faces. Listen. And those are suplexes for suplexes love. Woman. <laughs> the mom in that show makes me die laughing. She just she's trying to calm the daughter off so hard. Uh, the shit's jokes. I remember whenever I showed Brandon Fish and Aho Girl. I had to watch it immediately. Oh my god. Listen, me and you've watched so much anime together, but no matter what, her sections of watching uh, fucking Mocha and Skune, Rosario, or Rosario um, will be I you Rosario always first? the best. I'm pretty sure I showed you Rosario first, and then you and Jimmy watched it again later. I'm almost positive I showed you first. Me and Jimmy watched it at least what, once a year. It's pretty good. But have you seen all of Aaron here? Yeah, that was one of the first ones you showed me. And then I got so, so fucking pissed at the ending. It's so good though. That's so bullshit. Oh, this just... ending is pretty bullshit. Yeah. yeah. I want ring. I watch an anime for a good time, not a fucking Sabrina. You know what's bad? I think we reference Air Gear at least once an episode. I think we do. I think I was going to bring up fucking Air Gear before this podcast is finished. <laughs> You know what? I don't think we do. I think we literally bring it up once an episode. Now that I'm thinking back. I don't think we brought it up last episode, but I know the one before that we definitely talked about Eric here. Oh. I hate to say it, but uh, I think Absolute Deal is one of my favorite for me. Like, it's, it's definitely up there with one of the ones I can rewatch over and over again. I really like that anime. I don't know why I like that anime so much, but it's just, it's good. It's so good. That and um, Shivery of a Failed Hero or Shivery of a Failed Knight or whatever it's fucking called. Shivery of a, Shivery of a Failed Knight. Shivery of the Shield Hero. Yeah. Shield Hero is well a new season. So, that's good. Well, I'll keep an yeah. open mind about it. I didn't like nah, it in the manga with is. the Spirit Turtle, but I mean, I'll keep an open mind. I've stopped reading <laughs> about a good way to. Right about whenever they were resolving the spirit turtle thing, I stopped reading for some reason. Yes. I think the app I was using to uh, read manga died. And it I did. switched over to using, yeah, I switched over to I using quit the re- and I just didn't pick it back up. I quit reading manga because of the apps, but uh, ma- I mean, I or read manga or whatever is back up. I'm not, I'm not using an app anymore. Like, I just... I use a, a browser, I just favorite it, and I just go back and check every now and then to see shit updated. Like, I've been reading Henjo forever, and that's one where a girl is a pervert, and, like, she can, you know, tell when people get boners and stuff, it's pretty funny. And there's an offshoot in that of it, and um, it's all about uh, this guy who had a crush on the main girl in Henjo, and uh, he gets shot down, so he finds his own girl who's, like, 30, and she got some fucking tigums. And she's a huge weebo, and it's pretty fucking funny. We saw the Attack on Erika, son. Have you read Attack on Erika, son? No. It's, it's pretty good. It's an I haven't read Naga in, in a while, actually. It's been almost six months. Naga Toro is up in front of an anime that I'm excited about, as always. Um, also, another one that I'm excited for that got confirmed for an anime is one called Hoda Mia. Um, that's, that, that's got me pretty fucking stoked. That's the one about that girl who lives a pretty boring life, and she's kind of like, kind of a, a tom girl, kind of a hard ass, and she ends up uh, befriending this dude who has piercings and tattoos and shit, and he just never really does anything in class with other people. Doesn't that's have a good story. I don't have tattoos and piercings. Never mind. Oh, yeah, I don't, I don't have a lot of friends anymore. I used to. 
back in high school, but now I got like five that I can talk about on hand. Pretty much five, just about. That's it. I don't have friends anymore. Which I mean, I guess I prefer it that way now. I'm more of a salty kind of guy. You know, not really the type of person that enjoys going out and doing a lot of things with people. I mean, my family drags me out, makes me do stuff every now and then. And even then, it's a hassle, but I still love them, so I go. It's always a hassle. Do family is. things. Like, I love them to death, but I prefer the sanctuary of my own home. A lot of my family are I love, I love a good portion of my family. I don't care less about them, but most of them I love. Well, that's not good enough. Yeah. That. No, uh, there is one manga that got an anime that I'm super excited about. It's called, like, Tokinawa Over the Moon. It's going to be pretty oh. fucking lit. I don't know if I talked about it on my last episode, but I watched Weathering with you. Oh, yeah. yeah if I was There's an anime episode. I've been wanting to start. Um, I don't know about it, though. Well, what is it? It's on, I've probably seen it. It's on Netflix. It's called The Great Pretender. It looks really funny. He's a calm man, it basically means, I guess, a bigger calm man and gets fucked over. You guys seen the Backstreet Vocal Girls? Yeah. I don't accomplish it, and he showed it to me. <laughs> I was like, man, I don't know about the premise of the show, and then the cop was like, yeah, let's watch it, good chance. And I was like, alright, whatever. Cause it's like oh, no, Yakuza who get turned into I, idols. I've already watched like two or three episodes and I couldn't fucking breathe. And like I, I told him, I was like, hey, you need to go on here and check this out. And then he read the summary and he was like, I, I don't think I'm going to like this. I was like, trust me. Was that one you and me watched the other day with the birds what- and the decapitated heads? That's not an anime, that's the Stone Quackers. That is well, this ain't an it. anime on the podcast. I mean, this is pretty much anything we find interesting. Stone you know? Quackers is so fucked up, it's not funny. Okay, so let me, let me phrase this, me and Cobbley, uh, we we have a deal, alright? I watch what he wants me to watch, and he wants what I want him to watch. I, I show him Golden Time, we enjoy that pretty good, and then we go to his show. <laughs> I'm and up. I show him a beautiful love story between two people, one man who is... Uh, yeah, I've got some well, the, the, brains. The thing about Stone me. Quackers is it takes off real like a good ride. And then it jumps fucking shit quick. Does it, oh, yeah. Like, yeah. how quick we talking? All right, like, so okay, basically... Like they're, they're, they're talking about pranking. I got this topic. They're talking All about right. pranking. You know? They're talking about having fun with each other. Like, one last prank, we're not bad apples, whatever. And... They send the dumb one out to go get, like, some rotten apples. And he comes back, and he has these big-ass rotten apples. And I'm like, man, these are some big rotten apples, Barf. Where did you get these? Oh, from that new uh, store. You know, the one, uh, Krigonic Cri- uh, Freezer or something like that? The frozen like, oh, apples. That's a weird... Yeah, there's a weird name for it. So they drop the apples on the car, and it smashes the car real bad and the guy in the car starts freaking the fuck out and hyperventilating and you can't see what the apples look like they're blocked out and like cops show up ambulances show up the guys hop that's in, what the like, best part the about the show out. is the cop you is can't literally see John C. Riley. yeah he's bad at his job and um then it shows what the apples were they were decapitated heads from a cryogenic freezer place <laughs> literally the dumb bird <laughs> broke in broke, broke in stole three frozen heads and they just dropped it on some poor man who was driving home. <laughs> and he's freaking the fuck out as those three decapitated heads. And they don't realize what they've done because it was dark on that roof until they're sitting in a Denny's eating breakfast. And the cop drives by with a little cart that has the heads on it and actually drops the thing and they see the heads. And then the guy puts two and two together. Oh, they went into the cryogenic freezer thing and it just, it just ruined some man's day. Probably his whole week. Like, it's, it was fucked. 
There's all the fucking. Oh no, there, it gets wow. it gets better. Uh, there's an episode where uh, Dottie, the girl bird, like all this is is teenage, it's teenage, uh, like animated ducks or birds, whichever one, and they get to play. Uh, they they pick like different games and stuff to play that day, and uh, Clay gets to pick, which is the big fat bluebird. And he picks that he wants to be a villain that day. They play bad guy. So they literally cut a beak off of a little kid. Put it up there. He ends up going and becoming a drug dealer. Daddy! Go! David, go I don't care! Go! Do the podcast. Jesus. Back to it. And, uh... They literally go and uh, he becomes a drug dealer and has a woman, <laughs> or a woman, uh, the one that has the kid, like his slave and all this shit. He all rips his fucking... are naked in the streets. Yeah. He her multiple times, makes her call him daddy. In case you're... It's fucked. Oh, yeah, he pulls the gun out and keeps telling everybody they gotta go for rides. Oh. And then it turns yeah. out that it was all the woman's fucking fantasy that she was having while staring at a thing of blueberry jam. And uh, then she said, yes. I wonder why I have so many fucked up daydreams. She proceeds to do a tab of acid and all these things that peels her eyeballs open and she watches these, like, horrifying images <laughs> and blasting Norwegian death metal into her ears while she's sleeping. On a yeah. of acid. It's like, it's, I wonder. It's so great. Like, it's so funny. Like, you just don't expect it at all. Yeah, it gives you like a fucking, like a, a right turn. Right as soon as you expect it to keep going straight, just like a sudden right turn. That's the whole show. Oh, I wish you mm. wanted to come in here and me hollering. No, I kind of wish I can get it out if you can. Not, fuck it. We don't have editing software yet. I've been looking into it, but I mean, there's stuff that I've seen that would be good for editing, and there's even like a, a thing that I saw that we might be able to put our podcast on and maybe get it monetized and there's editing tools on it. But I mean, we'll talk about all that on off the podcast. Well, I always tell the kids that I'm doing it this time. I didn't tell them, so it's kind of on me when they stay in there. Yeah. Um, what was I talking about now? I start, I don't have much to really talk about. All I've been doing is playing video games, honestly. Yeah, I've been playing GTA. Thieves. Yeah, GTA. I bought Saints Row 3 again because I really wanted to play it. I really like Saints Row 3. It's one of my favorite Saints Rows. 4 sucked. Yeah, 4 sucked. 4 sucked hard. Uh, I'm sure 4 was just god awful. I knew it. <laughs> Look like what? We had to find an agent and kill him, and we we had to walk through the crowd, and, but I just saw a dude sitting there with a badge, so I knocked him the fuck out. Interesting. Mean thoughts. Uh, doing shenanigans. Um, what was Brandon, you watch Dr. Stone. Yeah, when you watch Dr. Stone? Oh, I got three to four episodes in. I still ain't lost the rest. It gets real good. Real good. They're supposed to start it up again soon. I'm pretty sure all of it's dubbed now, so I can just breeze through it eventually. Yeah. I think that's the best. I mean, I'm, oh. I get how some people think it's boring, but I don't really think it's boring. I think it's fucking a masterpiece. I think it's great. It is pretty good. Have you seen Jitsu Wa, Jimmy? Timmy, I didn't know somebody in here's name was Timmy. I, I said Jimmy. You deaf bitch. It was definitely Timmy. All right, Timmy, have you seen Jitsu Wa with Ashua? It's Timmy. <laughs> uh, hey, Timmy, have you seen whatever the fuck that is? It's it's no. called Actually I right, Am. Timmy. Thanks, Tim. Timmy. But um. I I probably have. Green-haired vampire girl 
little guy has a crush on her. He walks back yeah. into the classroom, sees her with her wings, and he realizes, oh shit, and the girl yeah. likes the vampire. Oh, hey, I've watched that in yeah. there. Read the. That's not read the manga, too. That, no, it's no, no, the manga. It's called Actually I Am, is the English name. Yeah, I watched the first two episodes. Yeah, I, I don't really like the alien girl that's in the show. But I can handle her more than I can handle, like, the Snoopy ass uh, reporter chick. I just hate reporters and I don't trust the media. I just I can't stand that bitch. I don't know why she just ruins the anime for me whenever I try to rewatch it. Was your mom? Oh, I haven't thing? rewatched it. There's um, there's a dub of Kaguya Sama season two. I need to try to catch up on that now. Uh, some more of it came out. It's been a minute since I tried to watch it. I'm back like episode three or something. I haven't watched it because it's not on Crunchyroll, so. I feel it. What's up with Crunchyroll? Whenever uh, new animes come out, it's hard as hell to watch them. Is it just because their servers are overloaded, or? Probably. Sounds about right. Two of my favorite animes probably. that were out this season. What? I said probably is my dude, because I had trouble watching ReZero a minute ago. So two of my favorite animes that are out this season finished here recently, and I guess ReZero finished today, which fucking sucks. I was uh, keeping up with a rental girlfriend, and that was pretty good, but... I mean, it didn't hurt out anything. They set up for season two. We'll, we'll try to hurry up and finish things up as we can. You oh, no, you're out? fine. You're fine. I just had to check on it and make sure things are right. Um, but they set up for season two, and then I saw a couple of days ago they confirmed season two. Uh, then uh, Misfit at the Demon School, that one was okay, but it's just... I didn't like how they ended it. Are you guys going to watch it? Because I won't really go into the on it. details. You playing on it? All right. Yeah, I've been wanting to watch Pretty oh Girlfriend, too. I've watched it. What do you think of the ending, Jimmy? I mean, they did it pretty well, in my opinion, because everything was set up. Even with the singing? Yeah, even with the singing. Like, the singing much... the only problem I had. This only part I had a problem with was the fucking singing. Like, the singing is the only thing that sucked. But you ain't Everything else is like, so okay, that's pretty on thing. track. I don't know, I just... The song wasn't even good. It's just all about how much I of mean, a big dick I know it's had, and that's just... It's like, alright, well, cool. I mean, yeah. Without spoiling anything, the whole point of that spell is to take the love people haven't used it as power. Well, I was going to stop talking about it, but I just, I was disappointed by the ending. Other than that, it was okay. Do y'all hear my fan? I'll turn it off if you can. Nah, yeah, it, but it doesn't really bother me. I'll turn it off. I got my door shut, which I mean, I guess Dad's gone now, so I don't have to worry about it, but... Um... Rental Girlfriend was okay, though, like I said. Season 2 is coming. That'll be alright. I really enjoyed that one, though. It's, it was a lot more adult. And uh, I like how they set that one in college instead of uh, high school, like usual. Uzaki Chan is also something I started watching the dub of, so that's pretty good. If you guys haven't seen Uzaki Chan, you got a fuel for no health. That's yeah, one. I haven't watched Uzaki Chan. This one, she's a short chick with huge jugs that likes to torture her senpai because he's a loner. That's what it's all about. She, she gives him shit. I just see him, like, walking on here and just start screaming, Sakurai! At the top of her fucking lungs. Best part's whatever. He's on the yeah, VR next to grabs the titty. <laughs> mm-hmm. I saw a clip, so this made me want to read the manga, so I caught up pretty good with the manga. I think there's a couple of chapters out that I haven't seen, though. The problem with all the mangas is, I, I catch up with them, and, uh, excuse me, I catch up with them, and there's no new ones, or 
it takes forever to get new ones, or like, you know, I get bored and I try to find something else, and I just try, to, I have trouble keeping storylines intact. The worst thing is whenever they drop a manga and you don't know. That's the worst fucking thing. Because it's like, who, who's going to tell me that this manga's dropped? I got some that ain't updated in months. Some that ain't updated in months, and then whenever you finally get an update for them, it's like, oh, fucking finally, I was about to give up. But I guess that's what's going on in the world right now. You well, some of them, they get fucking... They'll be, like, getting in the weekly section, like Shonen Jump and all these other publications, and then they switch them over to the monthly section. There's, there's one that I know I've talked about on a podcast before. It's Foo Foo E Joe, something, 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 another. It's it's real fucking good. But, uh, it's my talk. Um, it, it's like a monthly, and I hate that it's a monthly. Because it's. Oh, you God, it's good. You got to something that needs, a, needs an anime. That, that definitely needs an anime, 100%. Goblin Slayer. If you guys have seen the Goblin Slayer movie, season two is gonna be hype. I ain't got to watch it yet. Huh? It's on Crunchyroll. It's not dubbed though. Well, see, it's like kind of this I tried to watch it either on Crunchyroll, and it's like me that can't be pulled up in this region. It's I probably, the, uh, it's probably your, your internet, dude. I mean, your internet ain't the strongest. That or Crunchyroll servers. Crunchyroll servers are fucked. And I can watch any other show that's popping up. It's just coming to say that it says that. Hmm. I feel like Connor Super just don't like you. Tell me yeah. about it. And it was Mega Monday the other day. Damn. I need something for Thursday and Friday. Because I don't want it to be trapped Thursdays. Felix? It's, it's Trap Thursday. Felix needs his dues. Fuck it, Trap Thursdays, Food of Fridays. Now, now, hold on now. Now, listen, I'm <laughs> up Trap. Hold on. Foodies. Now, listen. <laughs> Alright, they come up with something with an F for Friday then, fuckers, because Food of Fridays. Hang Girl Friday. There we go. Hey, see, friends. Hang Girl Friday is way better than Food of Friday. Hold on now. That's got a good ring to it. I just don't like what it stands for. It does have a good ring to it. Jim, about how long we've we been going? 43 minutes. Alright. Uh, Stacking them out. We can go a little longer and we'll, we'll quit. I don't want this one to be too, too long. I know they Man. announced... What? I mean, we ain't put one out on me and I... Uh, it's only been two weeks. And plus the it's last time for two we hours uploaded, special! Yeah! Uh, last time we uploaded, we uploaded two in a row, so it's no big deal. Um, what was I saying? Body for data. I know they announced the season two right after the anime ended. I don't know if they're going to hold up their end of that bargain, though, where uh, everything's going on. I don't know if we're starting to see one in 2021. I'd they love better. to see one in 2021. I would absolutely love to see one. And that one that one was a good one. Better than Shield Hero, in my opinion. Oh! That's, that, that's debatable. Like, both guys disagree. Yeah, both. Or masterpieces. Oh, I never said Shield Hero was bad. I just said Ari Fanica was better. No. I think they're in the same category for me. I don't think either one was better. A shuffle and uh, gotta be the twin tail is top tier anime no matter what. You damn right they are. It's about time you see the fucking line. I do. I say the line, Jim. Damn, I really do need new friends, though. Like... I mean, listen, 
You listen. You hated Shuffle for no reason for the longest time, and then no, I had and you reason. rewatched it and had a good time. Your reason was Green Haired Girl was apparently not in as many episodes as she should have been. But she was. And she's actually she in, in more every episodes episode. than she was. She oh wasn't God, in that. She's not been in every episode, buddy. But she was never you know let on to be a, you know, a girl point. who was in the running. He never actually gave her any sort of consideration. Just every now and then. Like, she would just pop up, and he'd get a heart on and be like, I bet, what's up, baby girl? Sounds like a thing wife. I just, I, I don't like the twist ending. I just love the twist ending with shit. What they twist? What they twist? I just, I just didn't care for it. It's like that, um, uh, Masa Gakai and HXH. I thought that was shit, too. I'm not for sure if that is. That's the one where the guy has to funnel the chick's titties to get their fucking mech suits to work. I say I remember like what is a demon god novel or, or whatever it's called. The one that was made by DXD creators and he had to funnel tits to run the mecha and they fought penguins. Oh yeah, time. that's um uh, Dime Dollar, was it? The, yeah. I remember that. I don't yeah. remember the other one you were talking about. No, this is Monster Guy and HXH, where it was like five girls, and they use energy to power these mechs and fight. And if they don't get fondled up by this guy in climax, then they can't use their mechs. So he has right. to literally like like rub up on them and make them nut for their mechs to work. You got to do like, what you got to do to make superpowers happen, but. <laughs> I just, I mean, if I want to how are you going to you know? give that shit, that shit, about fondling with boobies and making an orgasm, and yet you love how to how to summon a demon work, and he literally fingers a bitch. Okay, yeah, one episode, but it's not 12 episodes of just a guy dry humping chicks to get their fucking suits of armor to work, dog. I mean, it's just. I don't know. It's like the same reason I didn't watch the rest of, um, what's the one where the guy sucks nuns' titties in order to use his sight? Quasar. Yeah, Seikon of the Quasar. Like, I, I didn't like Seikon of the Quasar either. Oh, that's the season, season two season where we're that chick good. Gets the season one is like amazing. Kidnapped. I got with the chick with the jugs. God. The chick with the jugs, and that's, that's where we're quit. He like, takes on God. I was into it. Like, I like Etchy in an anime, don't get me wrong, okay? I 100% am into Etchy in anime, but just too well, much They should have done made God like a porn. woman and literally had to where he had stuck on her tip. Like, just... Like, there's, there's, there needs to be a fine line between hentai and anime. So I didn't watch Monster... Uh, see, oh, is a... Uh, you you watch your mouth about Monster Musa. So I love Monster Musa, I'm talking about issues up your viewers. I just... I didn't want to watch it because it just seemed like oh, I want to me. watch it. I want to watch it all. People made memes though and said that it was the greatest anime of all time. I made it number one on the, my anime list. Yeah, um, I want to watch it. It's on Watch Cartoon, I think. I think it, it is, too, but ain't it? I'm pretty sure, but it's, I know for a fact it's not on Crunchyroll. Crunchyroll wouldn't allow that on their fucking track. So no, not the one that. But, uh, yeah, it's it good times. I'm, I'm not going to watch it, though. I've heard it's good. I just, I'm not going to watch it. I've read a little bit of the manga, and the manga didn't really do much for me. Speaking of stuff that the manga didn't do much for me, but the anime was better, uh, I'm the eighth son, are you kidding me? I watched all of that one, and um, it was all right. I mean, it wasn't the best, but it was all right, you know? I didn't like the manga too much. I got to the airship before they fought the undead dragon in the manga. And I got to that part in the anime, and I was like, all right, this is okay. I mean, it's not going to be a fucking award winner, you know? It's not going to be a re-zero killer, you know? It's not going to be something that I go, wow, this is better than uh, fucking, what, what's that one? Uh, Jimmy, help me out. What's that one where the guy's like a super agent, he goes to like that school for wayward girls, and like each one of them has their own fucked up backstory, and he's looking for his sister, and it has like that red-headed girl who had that bus crash, and... Like, they had to turn into cannibalism and all that. I don't fucking know. I don't remember. Oh, Fruits of Grishaya. Fruits of Grishaya was really fucking good. Like, all four seasons of it was really good. 
It's just been a minute. I need to rewatch Free Ticker Jaya. Yeah, yeah that's, where, out of time. that's where you go to the special hospital and there's a uh, a burn girl, a blind girl, one with no arms, one with no legs. Good time. Yeah, that, 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 that is. <laughs> No, that's, uh, that's not what that is. That, no, not, that's a hentai game. That is not and a hentai. It's art. It is 100% it's a hentai game, and Bacon Face is best girl. Oh, God. Worst girl by far. No, Bacon Face is best girl. <laughs> Worst girl. You played the let's, game? Let's not get into this. No, let's get into that? this. All right, let's get into no, this. No, let's, let's you not. Best you're not ready for this conversation. No, I'm ready. Okay. okay. I'm ready. I got my strap on. on. got the lube. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Right, What's okay. the, who's the best girl? I mean, clearly it's fucking Lily. Is it the one that got spatula legs? No, that's oh, that's Emmy. <laughs> you obviously ain't ready for this conversation. Yeah, I'm not yeah, blaming. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I didn't know the mother of physical disabilities. I don't know the mother name. Who's it's the blind Lily. bitch? Yeah, that's what. Like just name, name naming their disabilities. I don't even give yeah, a shit about their name. That's what I know. The Who's the girl I know with spatula hook? legs, bacon face. Uh, the one who oh can't God. play, can you see me? They are women um, with hearts. I'm sure they are, but being... They're also Each women one. with parts. But, uh... They're missing you know, like, parts. Oh, yeah. I know whenever you first meet Spatula Legs, um... <sighs> she, you bump into her, and, like, one of the things you can say to her is, Jesus Christ, did your mother give birth on a landmine? And if that ain't the funniest fucking riding you've ever heard in a hentai game, I don't know what to tell you, Chief. Unless you're playing Rants. In which case, you probably heard funnier. Oh, the one I was playing was pretty fucking bad. Rants is, Rants is an absolute fucking gold mine. It's a treasure. The one, I can't remember what it was called, uh, Slag Master or something. But, uh, you basically, you're. You fucking will uh, drive a person madly in love with you, and uh, the first one you go after is a nun. And you, you you go after the holy warrior, uh, the sniper, the witch, and uh, like a succubus. Well, the, the ho- calls them based off rants. Probably. Because I swear to God, they look similar and they act similar. That's that's one to that's one to ponder on. Because they're both uh, yeah, they're both pioneers for gender equality. I mean, rants in a different way, yeah. <laughs> Fuck, but yeah. Smell that yeah, Smell that. Smell that. Smell that. I forgot to ask you, how has Monica been? Have you not checked in with her? Wait. Uh, She's going to just kill like all of them. Like, done uninstalled herself. This is the real reason why Jim's, uh, why his phone app games keep losing all the data. He has to restart. Her revenge. Yeah, because he's pissing her off. Just Monica. I mean, you know, you know. Yeah, let's uh, let's do a monster girl fact, and you then know. we'll do our anime recommendations, and then we'll wrap it up. Listen, I need. To, I moved everything. I don't know where my monster group book is right now. You're gonna have to wait till next time. That's yeah, not. Because I, I, I had to, I took right? down my shelf and put up a new one. Oh, I, 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 I don't. Where Jim shit is. Yeah, but you have the Monster Girl books too. No, you? I don't. No, I don't have that kind of feel for my house. What are you talking about? I'm a good Christian boy. I do have the original first volume of the fucking DXD <laughs> though. And Titanic. <laughs> Okay, Jimmy, give us a random anime fact. Just random off the top of your head. Let me think here. Hmm. It's not an anime fact, but... You know. I want to hear it, Brandon, go. What was you going to say? Well, Luigi is not circumcised. It's proven. 
Oh no. It's Luigi, not Waluigi. No, oh, it's it Waluigi. Waluigi. It is Waluigi. You're right. You're right. I'm wrong. You're right. Why? Why do you know this? Chris told why? me. Why? Why do up. you know this, Chris? Because, why did you look this up? Because what? Nintendo confirmed what are you? it. Nintendo confirmed it, literally. It's fucking crazy. I mean, just because they confirm it doesn't mean you're gonna go fucking look it up like what? <laughs> Look, Jimmy, okay, just because I go into the deepest reaches of the internet and I find shit that shouldn't be brought out, I don't know where I'm See, going you with say this. that, but... I mean, have you actually ever went to the dark web? Oh, God, no. Talk about no. My experiences with that. Yeah, I don't that's go the thing. Dark you can't really say. I have no interest. Evil, crazy places. Nah, Look, man, there's a big, big difference to me looking at a video of a chick flicking a bean with her feet up on stirrups like she's giving birth and she's shooting squirt across the fucking uh, studio. And there's a fat guy dressed up like he's going snorkeling, just running around catching them with a dollar store tub. There's a big difference between looking at that and, and trying, to buy a fucking, yeah, trying to buy a person online. It's a big fucking difference between those two things, man. I'll tell you what, I'll stick with uh, Mama Sport and the fat guy. There's a huge oh. difference. Don't ever want I mean, to see Mama Sport the fat guy. On one hand, I could say that I've seen a woman sit down on a chocolate cake and rip ass. On the other hand, I can honestly say I've never tried to buy illegal firearms off of the internet. I can honestly say that because I'm a good boy. Yeah, we don't we don't want to talk about talk about the dark web. It, it's a spooky place. Yeah, the dark web. You should not go to it. I've heard so many horror stories of people like, you know, being watched by hackers on there who just like to fuck with you and come knock on your door and everything. And it's just like, nah. Yeah, you gotta, go to, you gotta like, you gotta go incognito mode. You gotta have like three, four separate VPNs hooked up. It's it's wild. It's just too much trouble to even go through. Yeah, and even then, what are you going to do? Get down there and watch somebody be murdered in a bathtub? It's like, keep that to yourself, Chief. I don't want to see that. No, I did get on there, and I found, like, some uh, fucking M16s, AK-47s. Fucking, there was an M60 at one point, an M249 on sale on, like, its black market military site. I mean, at least you were looking C4 at guns too. like a good American and not, like, trying to buy a person. No, I didn't. I didn't go into that. Let's, yeah, no. We won't go in detail while you went into it. Dude, dude. I'll, I'll keep my I did, however, fucking, the I did, however, find, like, there was, uh, there was one of those, like, there was a bunch of fucking chicks on there, though, that, uh, were just, like, looking for husbands. I just want to like, they were dinosaur. fucking looking to marry some just random fucking guy for, like, $10. It was actually wild. And I was like, what the fuck? Then they'll slit your throat while you're sleeping and leave. Yeah. Fucking probably. Yeah, that, you don't want to do that. No matter how fucking desperate you are, you never get a dark web wife. Never get a woman all fucking crazy, is there either? Dark web wife sounds like the name of one of those shitty Hollywood movies that they would do where... You know, no, like, it sounds like one of them soft core born movies. Yeah, but like this sounds like the premise to like one of those Hollywood movies they'd make because they're out of ideas. Like, you know, he got a wife off the dark web. He was lonely. Now he has to run from her. She's trying to kill him. And it's just like this like mildly attractive woman hacking up everybody in his life and just trying to kill him like a real off the Andre. That just seems like one of those shitty Hollywood movies they'd do. Where there's hope it could be good, but it's never good. Hollywood hasn't put out a lot that's worth a damn in a long time. Like one or two movies in the past few years. I mean, I'd hope nobody makes a fucking movie like him. Be scared for I mean, why not? They just made a movie where I think it's Russell Crowe, it's just some fat guy in a truck hunting this woman down. Because he literally was cut off by her in traffic. That's the whole movie. Kidnaps her son, burns down her house, tracks her down, hits her with a crowbar, tries to violate her with Good. a lobfish, fish. Just, just cut, him, cut him off the traffic. That's it. Cut him off the traffic. She should have cut him off. Him off. Bro, she should have cut him off. She's, she's a cunt. Okay, yeah. Traffic, that, traffic that is most, getting out of hand Get out of the car and hit her fucking headlight with a baseball bat. At most... 
don't track this poor woman down and torture her. It just seems I mean, like it's. I think Chris, I've ride. heard your dad. I've heard your dad say, and I quote yeah, on we, the phone. Hold don't, on, don't, son. Don't say anything. This motherfucker. Uh, this motherfucker cut me off. I'm gonna get out. And whoop his ass. No, he never said that. No, my dad's more like. Take He's not a fighter. Fucker, you keep trying to cut me off. You keep trying to I'll act like you. an idiot. I'm gonna pull the nine and I'm gonna burst it out the window. Fire off a few rounds. I bet you drive better then. It's just like, damn. Actually, what he says is. Any fucking time, sweetheart. Yeah, that's another one. That's not a gem. My dad has road rage. One hundred percent. I tend to notice hearing him uh, talk on the phone all the time. Yeah. Whenever you uh, he calls you. Yeah. But um. Yeah, I guess, I guess that's uh, that's our facts for the day. The while Luigi is uncircumcised, uh, Jimmy, do you got a fact? Do you want to throw on top of there? Hmm. Do I have a fact? I, I think I heard somewhere that the voice actor for Zoro and the voice actress for Nami are married. I think I heard that somewhere. I mean, yes, there's also, uh, there's, there's a bunch like it of fucking... Who was it? Uh... Oh, in uh, Butter Noodles. Fun little fact: nobody in here has played it, but in Persona Three, the main character, the male main character, and the the redheaded bitch, their voice actors are married. Uh, no, I'm sorry, not to, not the red-haired, but like the attendant. The attendant, uh, Elizabeth, is married to the MC's voice actor. Lady on, the Coochie ever. Lady on. I'll give him details when I'm on GTA and just committed a hate crime. Okay, but that's just playing GTA, though. Yeah. Big semi truck in the hood. You ever just shit in oh, your no. truck? I ever shit my truck? Yeah. Why? Twice. Why would you do that? It's a meme where somebody would just post like a picture of a good old boy and says, You ever just sit in your truck? And if people warped it to you ever just shit in your truck, and then people warp it even more to you ever just truck. I don't think Zoomer humor, but it, truck. it fascinates me. Zoomer humor fascinates me so much because they will take these weird clips that are so, like, not meant to be strung together, and they will add these sound effects to them. Like Vine, like those explosions that you hear in the back of Vines whenever stuff happens. And just like weird clips of people say weird shit. Just I don't understand Zoomer humor, but it fascinates me, and I study it. It's one of my my guilty pleasures is understanding what the younger generation finds funny. Other than going in pony play, I'm not into pony play, and I don't know why you told Todd that. I just kind of was like, okay, it's like he thinks I like it to put Jack. on a. It was he Jack. Thinks I like to put on a rubber yeah. like, horse suit and run, get led around Jack. by a woman. Now look here, all right. I would let a sexy like, woman and no, lover do a Chris lot of a things joker. to me, but I would I never like, let a woman lead me around like a horse. I have yes, no fucking would. morals. No, I would not. Yeah, you would. Uh, I mean, I mean okay, maybe if, it if you got it. her, if I mean, she looked at you and was like, I'll dress as any waifu anime girl you want, uh, and got high, or uh, what is it, thighs on. You would dress up like a pony okay. in a fucking second. Like how you know me. <laughs> I had them thighs yeah, in there, I'm boy. On... It's not that hard. You, you literally talk about Ren Tosaka's fucking thighs on a daily <laughs> basis. Oh, uh, uh, Lord. That's what I fucking built a summer home on. Just one of the Christmas. Just want to use him as a lap. Pillow, just... Ah. Yeah. God, <laughs> Quote from Chris. I wish she'd just take her fucking thighs and crush my head like a watermelon. If, her, if my ears aren't popping, she's not applying enough pressure. Oh if I can God. hear, she's not doing her job. Oh, God. You get a woman with some nice thick thighs and some thigh highs, and have her crush my head like a fucking coconut, just, just squeeze, buddy, until I no longer have cognitive thought. Oh, that's all I want to get out, boys. I want to play a really, 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 really fat woman to sit on your head. So that would do nothing for me. I'd be trying to get the fat bitch off of me. But if you get a woman with some like thick ass toned thighs and you just had like 
you know. See, like, like, here's my thing. thing. You what? like Green Toad Dog and Stars more than anything, right? Yeah. But yet, this is just a personal, or personal reference or what I see. The white-haired girl from prison school has way better. Oh, no, no, no. I 100% think the girl from uh, prison school, the white-haired chick, physically, 100%, yeah. Yeah, she is more attractive physically. Because she got the huge bedunga lunka lose. Well, that's and she's what I'm talking about. Size. And a nice and the, ass. And she yeah, has she's... the the whole thing on. Nah, she doesn't have thigh high. She has thigh high boots. There's a difference. No, I'm pretty sure she rocks thighs. I'm pretty sure there's thigh high boots. She has boots and then the actual stuff. Or maybe knee high on. boots. Hold on. I'm looking now. But. Yeah, Ren, Ren, like, if you mix in Ren's attitude with those thighs and those thighs, then, yeah, Ren is better, definitely more attractive. But if you just, you know, go to the body and load it, hmm, oh, the vice president is definitely hotter. Like, that's... Very interesting. I mean, that's just the way that I go with it. See, personality yeah, literally, thigh highs right under the boots. See, personality is a very big, like, turn on for me as well. If she has a shit personality, then I'm not a bad boy. You know? Like, if she's like a real shadow, shallow, shitty person, I, I mean, strong women are sexy, women of good character are sexy. Take I don't know why. It's those two things, that's, that's, what I, that's what I look for in a woman. Which, uh, ladies, I'm single. Here, let me give a little peek of Rooney here. It's not showed yet. I was going to literally crush your head. I'd let her crush my head. I ain't no fucking picky artist here. I'd let her crush my head like a fucking grape. I think yep, I won. There it is. You heard it here first. You got the picture? I just know that. Oh, you like the picture? Yep, it's all house. Yep, you're right. I'm wrong. You're right. I'm wrong. Yeah, that's prison school is one, 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 Yeah, prison school was one of my faves back in the day. And, like, I, I was just sitting there thinking in my head, like, like her, her, her is nice, but, like, when you talk about thick, I mean, she's got her beat. Like a hundred times. I mean, yeah, but I mean, you also got to factor in other things. I mean, her attitude's kind of shitty. I mean, she has, she's got the dominatrix thing going on, which, yeah, I did. She's just no, a that's, woman. That, I did. That's all fake attitude, Brim. though. Well, you see her Brim. actual attitude when she deals with the president. She's just Brim, shot by some bitch Brim you can't is deal with. Attractive it. To me. You know, I don't know. I like. Ren's got like that tight, slim body going on. Like an she's a fucking bored! She's a what? She's a board. Now nah, she's got a little bit of boobies, but she got too much. She's got like she's a tight body going on. She's a two by four. Plus, I mean, Ren's ass is definitely better. <laughs> you got to admit, dude, Ren's ass is definitely better. She's got a tighter ass. I can't. Here I that, am. That girl from the prison school trying to drink some like, coke, and Brandon's trying to ruin my day. <laughs> that girl from the prison school's ass is ten times way thicker. I agree to disagree. There's a difference between four. just being way thicker and Damn, the perfect you gotta old break ratio. It. What? I got to break it. Yeah. I don't want it on this call. You have no, to. No, 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 no. You are no, the third person. I, Quit no, being a fucking I'm not. bitch. I'm not getting in on this conversation. <laughs> no, that's not fair. Because one, motherfucker, no, listen, my waifu is sacred. Nobody will ever know my waifu. We're well, not asking you about your fucking waifu, you clown. We're asking you out of them two. Yeah, we're no, asking you about your waifu. No, no this listen, this is the whole point. Tool. Because, listen, no. whichever one I pick, some motherfucker's gonna be like, oh, yeah, then you're gonna find out about my waifu, and then you're gonna talk shit, and then you're gonna get hit. Jimmy, when's, when's the last time we talked shit about each other's waifus? When's the last time? He's a fucking clown! 
I mean, Copley mentioned last time that mine killed itself, and I had to change my foods, not because of that, because we just blood out, listen, I, I was not. just talking trash the other day about your wife, Chris. Uh, and you know what I'm so what? And you said, and I quote, that I'm a furry, but I'm not. I said that because I knew it skin. I said that because I knew it'd make your fucking skin crawl. Is that about the worst thing you can be on the internet? Your room. I don't want to go to my... I'm already in my fucking room. I'm talking to Cassie. Oh. I mean, yeah, it's the Golden Bridge Coast. Not too you. much ass, not too little. She has a ni- nice, nice, tight ass. That's what I'm saying. Too uh, much ass is a bad thing. She's not a enough ass is a bad four. thing. Yeah, I mean, yeah, maybe she's not got those titties, but I mean, that's all right. I'll suck a big titty, I'll suck a little titty. It don't matter. You'll I'll suck a big titties. dick, too. I mean, she can have a chest that is as flat as the fucking line, all right? She can have a chest that has zero titties, and she can have concave titties. I'm putting my mouth in that fucking cone. I'm just going to suck the Listen, shit out of the nipple. Whoa. Think I won't. Wait. I'm what happened this. to you? Because <laughs> back in the day, you was like, she ain't got no titties. She ain't no woman. What happened? I became an ass man. That's what happened, Jimmy. As long as I can tongue that chocolate starfish, daddy goes home and sleeps at night. That's all I'm saying right there. I know I want that in my fucking tombstone. Right there in big fucking bold letters. As long as daddy tongues the starfish, I go home and sleep at night. Right there. Jim, I'm you the pictures. Look, look, at, look at this. Oh, no. And you know what Rune, Rune's taco looks like. You tell me that that ain't better. And survey says. Clearly, clearly y'all missing the, the true MVP of the fight of, of it all, and that's Medusa. Yeah, but we're not talking about Medusa, Jimmy. We're talking about the chick with the white hair from prison school and fucking Rin Tosaka. We're talking about whose ass is better. That is what we're talking about. I mean, we need you to weigh in on this. It's the fucking battle of the ages. The battle of the booty. The fucking war of astrition. I mean, you know, come on, man. I mean... What do you mean? <laughs> I mean... He's saying the bitch is aboard. Okay, yeah, we're not talking about her titties, though. We're talking about her pussy. Her badunga dunk. The junk in the trunk. All right, Chris, listen. I'm going to spout facts here. All okay. Right. Well, in turn! You can do that for ten minutes. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> I, I, but before this, right. before he says this, I feel like somehow he's going to turn this to where it don't like no fucking sense whatsoever. Yeah. And anything he says is not purpose. Yeah. Anything, you know, anything he says from now on. It's literally going to be a Billy. Yeah. He's it's going to be a Billy Madison. And he's not going to decide with me, but I guarantee you he puts a fucking big in at the end just yeah. to get one right at me. He's it's going to be a Billy, Billy Madison. You get no points, and we Listen. just sit here for 30 minutes, and we feel dumber. Listen. Go ahead, Jimmy. You have the floor, and even if I lose, at this point, I can give a fuck as long as it comes out as a victor, somebody. I mean, all right, hold on here. Hold on. All right, watch this. Okay, give me one second. Oh, God. Rinto Saka. All right, let's see here. Hmm. Hmm. Yep. Mhm. 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 Chris, fucking stop. <laughs> 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 like he's smacking it. <laughs> All right. So. Definitely didn't help with the. Mhm. Mm-hmm. My verdict is. Here it comes. Fact, that. It is my verdict. <laughs> VP wins. Okay, thank you. I don't even care that I lost. You gave us a definitive fucking answer. Hell has frozen over, boys. But, oh, okay, uh, okay, hold on. Woo! Why? Why does she win? I mean, she's just better in all aspects. Because Rand's a board. Look, I don't need Please. titties. I need an ass with the golden ratio, boys. It ain't about what's what bigger. You know, I don't teach her anything. She's okay, just flat yeah, everywhere. Like, okay, the president, the vice president, she has titties that are kind of too big, you know? 
I mean, they, they kind of spill out. I mean, yeah, they nice. They nice, but eventually the motherfucker's going to sag like a motherfucker. And it's going to be nothing but droop town. And I ain't in for it. I ain't here for it, boys. I ain't here for it in one bit. But I mean, like, it's... Oh, okay. it's oh, not no, droop hold town. On, hold on, hold on. You just they're, opened they're up just a host can of worms that you don't want. What do you mean I don't <laughs> want? You're saying you're not into saggy booze, but yet you, the dirty things you want to do to old ladies. What are you oh, talking yeah. about? Oh, I'm talking about anime saggy titties. Real life saggy titties? I'll suck that fucking raisin boob all day. <laughs> oh, God, I'm a pig. <laughs> <laughs> Please. No, stop. Please. Let's end the podcast now. I got well, care if the bitch is naked and she looks no, like a brown bag no, and somebody wadded up. I don't know. <gasps> Please. We're still going to do our it's anime right now while your grandma's flicking the bean in the corner. Or jerking off Don Knox. He's dead. I'm going to do anything for anybody. Oh, bad brain. Anyway, let's, uh, let's, let's end the podcast. Let's do our anime oh. recommendations and we'll, we'll go ahead and wrap it up. Wrap it up like all of our Anyone that listens so many years ago. To this, let's see what you think. Do you like a board? Or do you like VP? Well, no, hold on. Let's do, let's do it just fucking right here, alright? Let's do it right. Let's do it just right. Oh, do you man. like a bitch that's so fucking tight if you laid her on her stomach she probably wouldn't have any sort of lift? Or do you like a chick that's so fucking bodacious if you laid her down she'd probably bounce a little? No, let's not fucking awesome. do it that way, alright? Everybody in the chat, Google Red Hosaka and Google the VP from prison school and tell us in the fucking comments. Who you think is sexier? Because my case, I've already pleaded it. Brynn has the golden ratio on the ass. The titties ain't too big. They ain't too small. They I you know. I don't want tits so fucking big. They spill out like the VP does. The only thing that's going thing. to happen. The only thing that's going to happen is there's going to be one comment. It's going to be Welsh. It's going to say she's a fucking board mate. That's going to be Welsh. And he's going to, be, he's going to say something <laughs> fucked up. You know Welsh. <laughs> Mate, I grew coffee. <laughs> Some fucking <laughs> shit like that. <laughs> she got big tits like, you know, it's just gonna be fucking Welsh. It's not uh, Welsh, but they're not what it called, bits. Well, I hope he's the only true fan. fan. He's the only uh, true fan. Yeah, literally, that's what we're going to do. Whenever we get big, we're going to have to bring Welsh on for some big fucking, like, million subscriber thing, and he's going to end up saying something fucking getting us canceled. So he's going to have to <laughs> Welsh. His first <laughs> words. <laughs> His first words are going to be the most awful shit you can think of. <laughs> Stuff that make Hitler's mind cough. It's like, you know, Little Miss Muppet sat on a tough and figure fucked her butt. But, um, all right, boys, tell us who you like in the comments. Be sure to subscribe. Uh, my anime recommendation is... VP or board? My anime recommendation is Fate <laughs> Unlimited Blade Works. That way Good you anime. can see the woman with the thickest thighs crush my fucking head like a watermelon. Well, um, that's the case. Mine's prison school. That's fine. That's perfectly acceptable. That way you can watch a uh, you can watch a woman watch a man piss halfway through the anime, which is weird. She gets a fucking order. <laughs> Jimmy, You're that what's piece your anime recommendation? <laughs> so far, we got the the board crushing a man's head, and we have a piss woman. <laughs> R. Kelly would be proud. You can't call her piss woman because she's not the one who gets peed on, you clown. I'm talking about the blonde one. I'm not talking about VP. I'm talking about the blonde one. I know, like but you just called her ego to the board. I mean, that's what you're calling her, so I'm going with it. Why not? Uh, I feel like we should just call her two by four. I still want her to fucking use my face as a seat. <laughs> I smother my ass cheeks by the time I'm four down into it. Ian's reference is gotta be between tickles. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Jimmy, are you there? I'm by I don't I don't I don't know what I want to reference. I'm kinda of scared to reference anything. Though. You I really should. Out this, for shit's blood. Got, this shit's got hated today over nothing. Yeah. <laughs> this has been one of our better episodes, I believe. Uh, Bar it, it started off kinda of like uh you know, kinda of, kinda of milk warm and ended up with Bored Candy Monster! So, I mean, that's kind of where we're at right now. <laughs> you, you don't understand. This is going to be my accomplished conversation for the next week. We're just talking about asses of these two women. 
<laughs> and by the time we come back, we're going to have such deep-rooted opinions on it that you know, we're going to be pissed. <laughs> What's going to happen um, when we get back? We both switch and he's in the BP and I'm in the rib. Uh, he switched. The switch but you never I thought just, you saw coming. It was just a fake switch and I'm just like, Bart! And it was just a fake switch. And I'm really Gary Busey. Go fucking, uh, <laughs> go watch yourself. Monster Girl Doctor, because why the hell not? Uh, Monster Girl Doctor's pretty too. decent. Snake, Snake Waffle is the uh, best waffle in that show. <laughs> Whatever he had his uh, hand on her tongue and pulled it out, and that, that's kind of hot. I ain't gonna lie. Seeing him make that ah hey guy face. What? What? I ain't got to watch it yet. Freaking new friends. Oh, I ain't got to watch. Jimmy, just because I want to fuck a like nine foot snake woman does not mean anything. No, you don't. You're terrified. Oh, that's one I would let strangle me. Who knows? I might be into it. I'm gonna get you a snake for Christmas. I don't want a snake. You can keep that at your house. Trouser snake. I'm just gonna pick them up. Uh, uh, thank you for watching the Blender Boy podcast. Uh, we're, we're probably gonna title in this episode the board versus the titty monster, or uh, something like that. Some, something witty. We'll come up with something later. <laughs> Uh, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> Reason, ten reasons why Chris is always wrong. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, but uh, be sure to like, share, subscribe, tell us uh, that I'm right in the comments, you know, <laughs> because you know I am. And um, thank, thank you for watching. All right, Jimmy, cut it. Boo. Boo. Boo.